we decided to do a day trip to San Diego. There's this really nice dog beach called Del Mar Dog Beach. Um, and Kobe loves it. So wanted to give him one more day here before we leave. Better buzz. It's the vanilla oat milk latte. <sighs> it's so good. I'm starting to just kind of like pack stuff for the road trip because we're gonna be on the move for about a week, maybe even a little bit longer. So I'm trying to like prepare my outfits. I feel like we're gonna hit some like really cool like photo places. And I just got some things from ASOS that I think would be really cute for the road trip. So I thought I would do like a little haul and they're just like some really fun summer pieces. So this is what I got, really fun colors. I got a few dresses because I love their dresses. Okay, this one is so cute because I feel like it's kind of like a 90s kind of vibe let me try it on this is what it looks like on i am obsessed look at like the little details over here it has like the little blue florals i feel like this in like a grassy field could be such a cute little look okay next i got another little fun dress there's a little like strap over here the adjustable straps and this one's just kind of like a fun little baby doll dress Okay, another dress. Like I said, I'm obsessed with their dresses. This one's like a green gingham one. Fun fact, I love gingham. I feel like a lot of times like gingham looks weird on me, so I don't really wear it that much, but this one's super cute. I love like how it's not like super in your face. Okay, this is the last dress that I got. Obviously not really for a road trip, but I just thought it was so pretty because of like the color and I'm just such a sucker for like mini dresses. I feel like this could be really cute for like a wedding. Definitely bringing this two piece. It's like a cardigan and a tank set such a cute yellow Like I've been so into yellow recently and I feel like it just looks really cute paired with jeans Last clothing item is this linen green button down. I love my button downs I feel like they're just so easy to throw on and they just like always look good. I also just got a bag I've been loving like asymmetrical bags. I feel like they're just so cool so this one is definitely going on the road trip with me as well. Okay, so I'm gonna link all of these pieces down below in the description box. If you're interested, I'll also leave my size. And check out ASOS if you're looking for some new summer pieces. Today, I am going to clean out the bedroom. Three more days until we move. It's kind of crazy, but it's happening. And there's just like some things we need to do in the bedroom. Also, I have someone that's gonna come pick up my nightstands in a little bit. They're super cute, I love them, but I just don't think we want them in the new place. We're gonna just clean them out and we're selling it. We're also selling some other furniture as well, like Samson's desk and the couch and what else, like a TV console. So gonna get new furniture in the new place, which I'm really excited. Like I love having just like a new, space to work with I think I made a lot of progress. Let me show you guys. Okay, everything here is pretty much like ready to go. Got a few boxes. Not too bad. 
And then we're gonna throw out that table. Still gotta clear everything that's on that. Got some shoes that I want them to kind of just like pack away. And everything on this rack is going to the wardrobe boxes. My office is a mess, but those are all garbage. The books are going to like the book boxes tomorrow. And then they're moving the chair. And then what else? Samson already finished his little corner. Everything's pretty much ready to go. For the most part, I think we're okay. Today was very overwhelming because I just feel like after a while you have so much stuff. I was getting some questions on what movers I'm using and how I'm doing like this cross country move. The first time we moved from New York to LA and that was very stressful. That was our first time. And then we learned that getting good movers is so important because without good movers, it's just such a stressful process. Oh, and then I also got another question. How much is a cross country move? So I think it really depends on the amount of stuff that you have. Last time it was just like a few furniture pieces, clothes and like computer and stuff. And that was around 2000. This time we are going with railway moving, which I'm really excited about because I've heard so many great things about them and they've just like been so responsive to me and it's just been really nice. So. I think it will be a lot less stressful this time moving. Okay, I need to declutter this table right now and put everything away. which is like Chinese food. They have Beijing food, which I love. So this is our goodbye lunch. We took a break from packing because it's so overwhelming in the apartment. The movers are coming tomorrow, 9 a.m. And getting all our stuff out. duck this is how i make it dip it in that sauce some onions some cucumbers and then you just kind of wrap it all up it is officially moving day we got everything pretty much like situated and let's begin the moving process movers 
just finished. It looks so crazy, like it's so empty. So let me show you what we're left with. We still got Kobe's bed here. This one we're gonna throw out. We're gonna keep this other one. And then we have our little stuff that we are going to bring with us on the road trip. Some things we have to kind of just sort through. This is empty. Closet's empty. This is pretty crazy. There's the dresser in my office that we're gonna throw out. I was gonna originally keep this desk, but I feel like this one was like super wobbly. I feel like I could find a better one. It's really sad and bittersweet. Well, we're not leaving today. We are gonna leave tomorrow. So we have one more night here, but obviously we don't have anything. Um, we do have our old mattress that we kept in storage and we brought it up. It's this one. So we're just gonna use that tonight and then toss it in the morning. is all empty we're about to go we'll be getting one last little sunbathing session in eating melons on our floor for our last meal here could be judging us every apartment is an error and this is the end of this one we're about to leave and drive to Vegas that's our first stop in our road trip that's gonna be a separate vlog how do you feel about going back to New York and leaving here? I feel like I'm excited to go back to New York. But I'm gonna miss this place very, very soon. Yeah. You too? Yeah. I feel like it's just sad leaving an apartment, you know? I don't know, it just feels like the end of something. Come on, Kobe. Let's go. I kind of feel like he knows. He knows, my little bud. Time to go on a road trip. This is it. All empty.